Over a year ago, I made a video titled The Secret to Tying String Tight, and I received a lot of backlash from that video. A lot of the complaints were that I wasn't descriptive enough in teaching people how to tie the knots in the video. So I'm going to remake that video tonight. Again, this is going to be The Secret to Tying String Tight, as descript as possible, so hopefully no complaints this time. But you're going to need two things. You're going to need some string, clearly, something to cut the string with. Now there's going to be two knots that we're going to be focusing on. One is an overhand knot on a bite, and the second knot is called a trucker's hitch. We're going to use two overhand knots on a bite in order to make the trucker's hitch. So first thing I need to teach you, clearly, is the overhand knot on a bite. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take maybe 10 inches of string. Okay, we have 10 inches of string. And I'm going to make a loop, a little bite, like so. Okay, you see that? Picking that up, camera guy? So in order to make an overhand knot on a bite, what you're going to do is take the loop of rope, wrap it around your finger, and then just follow your finger out, like so. Take that loop and just have it follow your finger out. And this is just a simple overhand knot on a bite. I think that's pretty simple. So we have an overhand knot on a bite on one end of the string. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our string and fish it underneath whatever it is that we're trying to tie. In my case, tying up this bundle of cardboard. Okay. So I have the string underneath my bundle of cardboard. Now what I'm going to do, for the sake of this video, I'm going to call this the running end of the string, the string that's on the spool. So I'm going to take my running end of the string, I'm going to pull the overhand knot on a bite, and I'm just going to pull some of the slack out of this system. So now that I've pulled pretty much most of the slack out of this system, on the running end of the string, where I've tightened the string up to this overhand knot on a bite, I'm going to go back probably about a foot, maybe a foot and a half to be safe, so somewhere right about here. See, it's loose string, so about a foot and a half back from here. I'm going to pinch the line, and what I'm going to do now is make another overhand knot on a bite. I just showed you how to do that. We're going to take a little bite, wrap it around our finger, and then follow our finger out, like so. Okay, so now we have two overhand knots on a bite. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the running end, you know, all the loose string, I'm going to stretch this back to the first overhand knot we made. I'm not putting it through yet, I'm just stretching it back. Go to the second overhand knot on a bite we made. And then I'm going to come back probably about halfway, maybe a little bit more than halfway. And this is just going to give me kind of like a good guesstimate as to how much slack I'm going to need to complete my trucker's hitch. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, after I've cut that string, I'm going to take the running end of the string, I'm going to go through the first overhand knot on a bite I made, kind of making sure that string is positioned properly on whatever it is you're trying to tie up. I'm going to take the running end of the string. Now I'm going to come through the loop on the second overhand knot on a bite I made. And then I'm going to take, again, the running end of the string, and I'm going to come back through the first overhand knot on a bite I made. But I'm going to bring it through the same way. So if I brought it through the knot this way, I'm going to take the running end of the rope and come back through again the same way. You don't want this going the opposite way. Okay, so in essence what we've created is an extremely crude three to one pulley system, but there's a lot of friction loss at these two points, which the, you know, the string changes direction. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull down on this string, and you can see I'm not putting that much effort into this, and I'm getting this string extremely taut. Now I'm starting to put some good pull on it. I'd say that's probably pretty good right there. So what I'm going to do now, sometimes you get this to lock itself off by uh, by getting this string underneath itself, but that, that doesn't always work. Like you see if I pull right there, yeah it's not really locking itself off. No matter, all you need to do to lock this off, pinch right here, take the string, slide it underneath your main line and just make simple half hitch. Make two half hitches if you want. 
and a half hitch is just basically you kind of like making another overhand knot onto the main line. And that's that. That is extremely tight. Lift this whole thing up. I could drop it. It's not going anywhere.